Police in Washington and Charlottesville, Virginia, are bracing for protests and counter protests this weekend on the first anniversary of a notorious Unite the Right rally. Violence during that white supremacist gathering in Charlottesville left one woman dead. A state of emergency is in effect there and in other parts of Virginia this weekend. Margaret Brennan interviewed Charlottesville's first African American mayor, Nakaya Walker, for Sunday's Face the Nation. With the benefit of hindsight now, mm -hmm. I mean, it, this is a year later, do you yeah. think this community a year later has healed, has oh, changed? absolutely not. Not at all? No, because the, the issues were not the rally or just statues. The issue is this deep-seated racism that, that we have here, and that's the challenge, um, and that's a lot of work, and it takes commitment. And while people don't want um, alt-right, um, white men in khaki pants and polo shirts, you know, walking through town, and they want to make it clear that they don't identify there. They have been very comfortable with um, racism and how it plagues the community. Face the Nation moderator and CBS News senior foreign affairs correspondent Margaret Brennan is with us from Washington. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. So you have ties to Charlottesville. You attended the University of Virginia. How is the mayor trying to fix some of these deep-rooted issues in her city? Well, you know, the mayor is very passionate, and she says focusing only on these rallies is avoiding the real issues that are plaguing that city, including, she says, low wages, lack of housing, and she argues all of these divisions come down to issues of economic opportunity. You know, President Trump likes to point out that African-American unemployment is at an all-time low, a jobless rate of just 6.6 percent as of last month. But the mayor says she hasn't seen an improvement in her community, and she holds the president personally responsible for, as she put it, bringing to light hate. Is she concerned about anything that could happen in Charlottesville this weekend to mark the anniversary? Yes, uh, no permit for a rally has been approved, but the state of Virginia preemptively declared a state of emergency. That's really because uh, authorities were harshly criticized last year for allowing it to escalate. Uh, there have been lawsuits. There's been real backlash from social media companies who have made it more challenging for the Unite the Right organizers to mobilize, but they've decided to bring that demonstration to outside the White House on Sunday. So uh, there's this is more than just the one rally. This is about fault lines, Gail, mm -hmm. in our country that have been exploited for political gain. And we are going to talk about those issues of identity politics and divisions in America on Sunday's show with Virginia Democrat uh, Tim Kaine. And Margaret, you also talked with the mayor about the issue of Confederate statues. Can you tell us about the memorial in Charlottesville now? Well, you know, even with the first African-American mayor of that city, that Confederate memorial to Robert E. Lee is still standing. It was the flashpoint for last year's rally, uh, but Virginia courts are still debating about whether it's considered a symbol of white supremacy or a war memorial. Uh, nationwide, those 75 Confederate memorials have been removed or renamed since last year. All right, Margaret Brennan, thank you so much. That interview with Charlottesville's mayor is part of an in-depth look at race in America this Sunday on Face the Nation. And as Margaret just mentioned, she will also talk with Virginia Democratic Senator Tim Kaine Sunday right here on CBS.